the Mori had changed their alliances to the Ochi clan, and more than just the deteriorating relationship between the two clans for the change, there was also the military rationale of the failed Amako invasion after Ochi Yoshioki's death and the new Ochi Daimyo, Ochi Yoshitaka's success in not only stemming Amako ambitions, but extending their power in Buzen too. This change of alliances along with several other smaller clans also allowed Motonari to solidify his position in Aki by gathering local lords to his side, such as the Shisido and Amago. Amako Tsunehisa then made a deal with Takahashi Okimitsu, who was not only a relative of the now deceased ex-Mori daimyo, Ko Matsumaru, but had also schemed to put Motonari's half-brother into power. This was found out and Motonari dealt with it harshly, conquering their lands in Aki to Iwami. The price though was personal to Motonari, as his daughter was a political hostage with the Takahashis and was executed for his conquest. In 1533, Motonari was granted the junior fifth rank, lower grade, in memory of his ancestor, Oe no Hiromoto, and Ochi Yoshitaka agreed to pay the strip then. And although the agreement had become nothing more than a nominal amount to the Ochi, it did show that in Aki, the Mori had both the backing of the imperial court and the Ochi. From there, the expansion of Mori power continued, with the Miya and Tagayama clans being defeated. And it is then that the Amako and Ochi started to both respect and become more wary of the Mori. As usual, Motonari solidified alliances by marrying daughters of other clans, such as Shishido, and even forgave old grudges by mending ties with the Aki Takeda. The Ochi decided then that the Mori were getting too big for their own good, and thus, Motonari's eldest son, Mori Takamoto, was sent as a political hostage to the Ochi to strengthen their existing relationship. In 1540, the Amako attacked from Izumo and tried to bring Aki province back into their sphere of influence. It was led by Amako Haruhisa, grandson to Tsunehisa, who had gone into semi-retirement. The Amako forces into Mori lands were led personally by Haruhisa and added up to 30,000, while Motonari had 8,000. Thus, Motonari evacuated 5,000 of his citizens into Yoshida, Koriyama Castle, defended by 3,000 of his troops. The Amako burnt towns and forts in an attempt to get the Mori to switch sides, but it failed, and then the siege of Yoshida, Koriyama Castle began. The rest of Motonari's forces continued to harass the Amako supply lines and requested the Ochi for aid in Suo. Needing to keep the balance of power right, the Ochi sent Sue, Takafusa, with an army of 10,000 to aid Motonari. Many a battle ensued for many a month, and in the end, the Amako were forced to retreat, only being saved by the snow that prevented the chasing armies to catch up with them more. The defeat of the Amako had a domino effect on isolating the Amako ally clans, such as the Aki Takeda, which had come to rely on the Amako. Motonari attacked Kanayama Castle and Takeda, Nobusane, fled to Izumo and when the castle surrendered, it ended the Aki Takeda's power in the region. Motonari also organized the pirate group in the area, Kawachi Keigoshu, which was previously owned by the Aki Takeda, and Motonari would turn them into a large part of the Mori Navy one day. Then, Amako Tsunehisa died, and sensing blood in the water, the Ochi and Mori attacked. So how much further will Mori power be extended? Find out next time, until next word.